Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am here with the hmm, the militaristic Matthias. He <laughs> is designing a wall here. We have some uh, a lack of lasers in this area. I've noticed. Uh, just yeah, I haven't started started. <laughs> I've ran out of power poles. So ah, go gotcha. Yeah, and plenty of flamethrowers, which is awesome. And he's also got dragon's teeth out there. Thank goodness we actually have bots now that can place those because those would be really annoying. Also, there you have several loops going on here. I'm very amused by this. Have you decided to fix this um, jumble tangle oh, of train it's track? It's fine. It's fine. It uh -huh. works. Your tangle of train track. It's. It, would you drive that in real life? Come on. Come on. I do that every day. <laughs> no, you don't. There are no tracks that go that way. <laughs> I don't think there are tracks that Oh, go that yeah, way. that's a problem. Uh, there's no way to get back here. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't work as well as you have, thought? Hmm? Yeah, I still have rails. I'll finish. I'll do it. Just delete I'll... the entire intersection and just make a T-junction. I have no. T-junctions in my... No? Okay. Well. Not until I've got the... Um... All right, I'm going to make uh, this. Fancy overhead uh, flyover thingies. Oh, all right. We'll get there. Do we have those yet? Almost. Hold on. Almost. Yeah. Well, elevated rail is coming up. All right, let's get, yeah, we'll do elevated rail next. Yes, okay, please. I'm picking this up, and I'm going to make a space platform starter kit. So I'm going to pause... Or, no, I'm going to turn off personal logistics and grab a whole bunch of those and make two. Actually, I'm going to make both of them because we're going to need two. We're going to need one for our space flying uh, machine and then the other one for an orbiting platform. Space flying machine. Oh, my God. Words, man. Okay. We needed eight engines to get a Some people crusher. might even call that a ship. Well, they call it, technically, it's called a space platform in the game. It really is. So, um, but yeah, some even people the, might call it Even the one that moves? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They call it a space platform. They're all called platforms. Makes okay, no sense. Okay, so this thing, yeah, it does. I mean, it's, it's a designation. It's a platform. I mean, you can attach thrusters and rockets to a platform. It's fine. All right, so space platform starter kit... Here we go. Start a pack, I guess. We need to call... What do you want to call our first space platform? Now, this is the one that's going to be hanging around in orbit and making science for us. But I want to call it? Yeah, we have to have I a have name no for clue. it. Well, I kind of no, tend to go novice for... Novice Orbit? Yeah, Novice Orbiter uh, sounds good to me. Uh, you don't want Discharge Defense, do you? No. No. Unless they buffed it. No, they did not. Distractors, laser shooting, explosives, sure. Okay. Now, I'm going to launch the starter pack. Let's, no, we need to do the add space platform. We'll call it Novice Orbiter. Okay, planet, novice, starter pack, yes, create. Aha, okay. So now... We get one of these uh, rockets. We put the starter pack in the inventory and it fills the entire inventory. And, um, oh, it's already launching. Okay, great. I'm not sure why it launched. Usually you have to do like um, something <laughs> there. <laughs> you have to select where it goes, but apparently that's not a thing. All right, so we're going to click on the Novice Orbiter. You can click on this. Go go click on Tab, Matthias. And you oh. can see our uh, Novice Starter Orbital pack. Logistics. Huh? Click on Tab. Yeah, press... Oh, add no. Space no. Platform. No, you don't want to add space. Just click on the Novice Orbiter. This Where? Our... If you go into Map Mode... Oh, in Map Mode. Map Mode, yeah, it's up on the left. So now we have Novice Orbiter. That's yeah, our, we do. Our brand new oh. space platform. It's not very exciting yet, but I'll make it better. 
It looks like a piece of junk. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to send up more chunks of space platforminess uh, so that it can get things and we're going to make um, some tech happen there. So let's, uh, we can add that. We want to kind of fill up these rockets as much as possible. Now I have a pattern here or a blueprint for a, a thingy. Let's see. Our, which one? The science platform. Yeah, this one here is a science platform, which is kind of nice. I think it will work very nicely for us. Yeah, why not? We'll just use this one. Um, and I will introduce it to you. Yes, there we go. You can just press. You can actually move that one closer in, perhaps. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah, let's go. There we go. Okay, and all of this needs to be sent to the orbiter. Now, we can, What what's the easiest thing to do is set this thing to be on request for space platform. And it will auto launch when it has stuff in its inventory and the boss will bring stuff here. Now we need to make sure that the center of the, um, of the rocket area is within the uh, Roboport range. That's really important because if it's like on the edge or something, sometimes it doesn't work very well. Okay, so now it's ha sending out requests for the space platform. It's looking for belts right now and it's gonna send up a whole bunch of stuff to make sure that the platform is working. The novice platform is quite, um, I don't know, it's very, uh, uh, there's not a lot of damage that you can get, so you don't really need any la any uh, mm, any turrets. Lasers don't work well, so you have to have other turrets. Okay, let me see. Did we get any? Um, I want to check if we got any the um, what do we call it thingies? So, mm -mm -mm, words. Come on, words. Be better. Uh, solar panels. Yeah. Better solar panels. We should have some by now, I would think. Maybe. Let's request. Um, oh, this is only. Uh, they should be any. Okay. Whoops! I forgot to do that. That's not great. Okay. Yeah, we did get nicer solar panels. That's great. So. Just let that happen. Go back to our space thingy, because some of the things we may have to send up by themselves. Okay, so it's looking for belt right now. Also, while we're uh, doing this, I'm thinking I may want to change how this works slightly. Let's see, this is oh. looking for those. Oh. Yeah, this is not going to work the way I want it to necessarily. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. We don't need any of this area. So that can be put elsewhere. And this thing is making... Actually, I probably need to change how this works, don't I? Maybe. Oh, this one is releasing only if... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we definitely need more space platformy stuff. Ah, and platform also needs to probably have uh, yellow inserters because they use less energy. That can go there. This can go away. Oh yeah, we don't need the iron ore here at all, I think. Do we? Oh yeah, we did. Oh, where did the other part of this thing go? It's changing. That's weird. Um, hmm. That is really weird.
see the ice and that one are going together. Three. Four. How fast do these things need to craft? Yeah, that works. These take 30 seconds of crafting time. Okay, yeah, we want to get a, this here and... sure how this is, was working before but it wasn't it isn't working now that's for darn sure if we do this and that it probably will end up on different sides I guess no path really See if that works. Uh, also, by the way, the entire floor of the space platform is electrified, so you don't have to worry about um, no power, poles. power poles. Yeah, no power poles. All right, so this, this is, is this one is actually not functioning. This one is working. That one is working. But I learned something very interesting here that. Um, this thing is, yeah, this outputs if the belt, when it's complete, uh, will have, if, if it has less than 10, it outputs that. All right, and then we need, we need another one of these. Let's see, ice. Okay, so if... Okay, use filters. Nope. I need to check these because this doesn't look right. So we need to enable disable, and this is this. If this greater than, we're going to do 13 on this. Okay. This is greater than 13, then... So what happens is these asteroid collectors, they will um, collect in this AoE area, okay? And they'll store stuff in their their hold here. You can set the filters for if you are lacking one, one specific type. They come in three different kinds. There's the one that makes carbon, the one that makes iron, and the one that makes ice. So um, you have to let them into you have to collect them from space they kind of are running into you know the spaceship right now um, but once we get the collectors they will be collecting them and this thing um, puts stuff on the belt if it is uh, actually this was just set to ice okay that's interesting um, but anyway what we want to do is not do it that way I think I'm not sure why this one is here this way but it's not correct Need to get rid of these things and do this a different way. We need to have at least three pieces of belt there where we can add another collector onto the side. So let's see if this one is correctly set up. This one is if, oh, this is also not correctly set. All right, this one, 10, we wanna have 13. Okay, and this again, 13. And you. We want to enable disable if ice asteroid greater than 13. Basically, I'm taking the internal storage of these, which is, uh, what is it, 39 units. And if, so that's divided by three, that's, th that's 13. So if there's more than 13 of a type, we want to filter it out into space. We want to drop it back out into space. So if it's greater than 13, we send it to space. And these guys, instead, are looking at the belt. And that belt will kind of light up in a second. Um, let's see if we can copy these over again, over here. And then U will be 13. If ice... Whoa. Greater than 13. Why are these messed up? That's weird. That is strange. And I've kind of put this one here so it has plenty of, of area away from the other one so that they can all kind of collect stuff in their own area. Let me collect this one as well. All right, let's put this one here. So this is on this side now. And all of these guys, they need to be connected to the belt. 
just like that one. So we'll connect these three together and to the belt. So this belt is going to be read belt, hold. And then these are, yeah, enabled, stable. If it's less than 10, you output stuff onto there. Now the belt feeds these crushers here. And also I'm wondering, why are we not getting more deliveries to this, uh, this place here? Ah, we are getting deliveries, but it's all the wrong stuff, unfortunately. Um, we need to get more of the platform stuff sent up. So I'm going to have this turn off requests for now. And I'm just going to send a whole bunch of the, uh, the um, space stuff. So let's see. Keep sending this stuff to me. Add a section for just space platform junk. Yeah, fine. 100 is fine. Go for it. All right, so let's go back to our novice orbiter. And maybe this one could be moved in a tiny bit. Let's see, control X, we can move this one. Uh, maybe like here even. There we go. All right, perfect. And so this thing, these things need uranium-235 to make this space science. But notice that there's a 90% chance you get your uranium back. That is really nice. So we're going to use that to our advantage and we don't actually need much uranium up here. So this thing, we're gonna send up another, um, uh, section. Oh, that's interesting. What's going on here? Ah, yes. This is a logistics request for uranium-235. I think we want to do a... Hmm. I think we delete this, actually. Let's add a section for the uranium. Uh, we're gonna request... Custom minimum payload of like mm, five, perhaps. Even though that's a heck of a lot to not have, but yeah. Mm. So this, um, also this one inserts if this thing is less than one on this belt. So if this belt isn't full to here, it will insert. But what happens is that when you have these things going around and around, sometimes um, it will uh, clog up the belt. So this one returns the stuff uh, and sends it back onto this belt here. So I think that's going to work. That looks good. Let's see, can I send that in a better way? Just thinking if I can do it. I can do it closer, like if I do it here, maybe. Oh no, uh, that would not give me room to do the splitter the way I want to. Okay, I think that's fine. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go back and try to send some of this uh, stuff. Okay, why are we not? Oh, okay, it's just auto-launching. I'm not sure why it's auto-launching. Normally you're supposed to be able to choose a place to send it. It's just like, nah, we're good. We're just picking this because we like to pick it on our own. I don't know. It's very weird. This is not the way it worked when I was at the event. You always had to choose where you wanted to send it. So let's see. This one is at 90%. This one is at 48%. We're really lacking in rocket fuel, which is not great. Let me check on oil here. Are we producing any? No, we are not. So I think it's time to maybe start producing rocket fuel again. So let's see. We had this at 24k now. Let's do it at 22,000. And I think that's the same as plastic and stuff. Uh, this one? Nay, not that one. 22k and... Oh, it's cracking. That's what it was. Cracking is at 22k as well. Okay, so now it should be working. Getting a little bit more plastic than we had before, but yeah, it's not great. 
Okay, so that should help us in the long run. This one has one completely ready, so let's go ahead and send it off. And again, it's just auto launching. This is a bit scary to me. I do not like this. I, I, I don't understand this. I don't know if it's because there's only one platform, so it's automatically gonna choose, but it feels really, really weird to me. Okay, we can also cut out parts that we uh, don't need. Oh, there's our delivery. Okay, and it's gonna build out a whole bunch of stuff. That's great. Okay, cool, very cool. Um, but again, yeah, we want to cut out any tiles that we're not using. Now, this entire thing is not used, so I think we're going to take it off. We don't need another collector. I think that we, we have three, and that's more than enough. I think it's definitely more than enough. Okay, so that built out a little bit more. We need so many tiles for this. It's very, very expensive to send these things up. Let's see. Come on. Come on, rocket fuel. Keep going. Um, I could use... Do we have any beacons? I wonder. Let's see. Did we get any? Uh, I think they're probably in the mall somewhere. I hope. Maybe. Uh, do we have the beacons? The beacon, beacon, beacons. Ah, yes, we do. Good. Okay, very cool. So those should get going as soon as the bots place them. We do have bots, right? Yes, we do. We have tons of bots ready to do their work, I hope. Did I get automation three? Yeah, maybe, maybe. So with that, I can get assembling machine three. Oh, here it is. Wow, it's already done. Yay, cool. But why haven't the bots placed these yet? I'm very confused because these are these are automation three machines. Yeah, there we go. Maybe they were just made. I don't know. That's interesting. Okay, so those can be there. Let's do quality on these as well. Let's see. Quality. Okay, and quality nuclear reactors. Why not? And I don't know if we bother on quality like steam engines and stuff. I don't know. This one definitely needs stuff. Are we going to use a lot of steam engines in space? I meant uh, like nuclear steam things, steam turbines. Okay. Not not regular steam, no. <laughs> you wouldn't use that, no. Mostly in space you use solar, like special solar. High quality ones. Let's see, let's get some concrete. Uh, we need to make more centrifuges. Soon we're going to have proper logistics. Gosh, I can't wait to have that. That's going to be good. It takes so long to get these things going. How are you getting on over there? Oh, wow, you're progressing. I am building wildly. walls. You're doing fantastic. Jeez, that's awesome. Um, I should have let you build this space platform. Shoot. And I'm going to make the biters pay for it. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Naughty thing. Uh huh. But I agree, you should make the biters pay for it. It's like, you know, it's their fault. It's totally their fault. Totally their fault. Okay, let's get over here and do things and stuff. All right. Oh, that steel flow, and that makes me feel happy. Hooray. All right, rocket fuel. Yeah, don't waste rocket fuel on trains, man. That is not a good use of rocket fuel. Save it for the space platforms. You'll need it. Every single drop of it. Okay, we're going to... I think I'm going to request this space platform juice. Oh, I... Yeah, mm, I have it. There we go. All right, so let's just send more of that. It's going to launch, I guess. It's going to launch. This is scary that it auto-launches. I don't even have auto-launch ticked. There used to be a button that says auto-launch on here, and now it's gone, and it's very, very scary to me. Like, I don't know where the heck this racket's going. I didn't send it anywhere. This is weird. Totally weird. 
Okay, on one of the rockets, I do want to send the asteroid collector um, and maybe some other things that are needed. Uh, let's see what's needed on here. So we need uh, two assembling machines. These are assembling machine twos. And then we need the three crushers. I think with the crushers, we just make standard ones for now. Okay, so we need engines and LDSs. So let's just get regular engines. And LDSs. And I'll just feed this guy. Because we need three crushers from this. Do we have the stuff for this? Oh, we need one more bulk inserter. That's going to be a hard, hard fix, that one. But we can make... Uh, oh, I didn't even put quality modules in here. Darn it. Gave up the chance to get a better one. Okay, you do the thing, but not... No, no, no. Careful thing. Just normal, yeah. I think we'll have to do with normal ones as well. For a moment. So you eat these, please. Where are the LDSs, guys? Come on, game. Give, give, give. Give me the thing. I've, I'm a requester chest today. This is what I, my life is like today. I am the requester chest. This is why I don't understand why we can't have requester chests initially. Like, this is how this works. You know? It's weird that we can't just have our coaster chest and that it's like a separate uh, research. Yeah, no. you okay? Uh, Actually, I'm going to put those defenders oops. back in the network. So request them when you come to town um, so that you can yeah, have all the things. Let's see. Okay, I spammed so many power poles mm. but I don't care okay okay that was excessive though and one crusher why are, am I not getting LDS's I don't understand this it's very strange there we go Maybe they're just not in the network. That could be. They could just not be at all in the network. Yeah, I think not. I think not. Okay. There we are. This is going to make all the difference. Let's put it in like there. Okay, good. All right, here we go. So are you happy? No bulk inserters. No, oh, sad times. It's another crusher. So we need three crushers and three asteroid collectors, I think. Let's see. One, two, three. Three crushers. And then we need one furnace. So do I have any furnaces? Fur Furni. Pardon me. I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder if we have any. Let's see. L for logistics. So the search thing is currently over here, which I think is crazy. Um, furnaces. Furni. Oh, we do have one electric furni uh, of rare quality. But I'm going to take... Actually, I'm going to request both of them. Why not? Um, let's get furnaces. Mark uncommon. Yes. And you be rare, Ferni. And then you are, I don't know. All right, we got one more crusher, which was, oh, a fancy crusher. Excellent. All right, asteroid collector. We have one. I thought we did have a, a better asteroid collector. Oh. 
Where did that thingy go? Oh, it's in the ship. Of course it is. Yep. Okay, so that's two. And here's one crusher. Okay, so that's three crushers, uh, three asteroid collectors. That's good. So let's send this off to the world. Mm, crusher, crusher, thingy, thingy. And then we want our one furnace. Hello? Where are you? Where are you? I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Ah, we can just send one. We don't need more than one, uh, I think. All right, and I guess the rest can just be space platform stuff. All right. Launch. Good. Okay, so it's launching. So that will get us some good stuff. Now here, we do need to get these guys probably put down into uh, yellow inserters. Because blue inserters use a lot of electricity. So it's better to use yellow. And yes, it does matter very much. The electricity on stuff is so precious uh, in most cases. It's, it's quite, yeah, precious. So here we are. We did get a little bit of stuff, as you see, and we have actually been able to install one of our uh, asteroid collectors, but we have no, no uh, solar panels, so that's a tiny problem. So let's see. Let's grab uh, solar panels of better quality. Okay, and... Actually, I don't think we need accumulators on this particular spaceship. So let's leave those alone for now. Let's, uh, in fact, we can delete them off of this so they don't create the need for flooring. There we go. There we go. Things are now immediately better. Should I tell you when I'm building stuff on the ship so you can see, like, the coolness happening? Because it, like, has this cool animation. You know, all right. Okay. That's uh, a mess and a half. Okay. What happened? Nah, it's a lot of belt spaghetti. What? At the space platform? Yeah. No, it works perfectly. It's great. Okay. Uh, but it's, uh, so we have this central area where, uh, the asteroids go around and they get crushed by the crushers, which are over here. Okay. Um, and, um, you'll, you'll see how it works in operation. I think that's probably a better example. Oxide crushing, see. metallic crushing. Okay. okay. One, we need to actually delete this one and put in a better furnace. Yes. Go there. Okay. There we go. So now, let's see, how many of the solar panels do I have that are... Okay, I have ten. Ten of those. I don't have any, like, blue solar panels? This is shocking. I mean, we set them up ages ago. Ages ago. So... You are... No. Are you sure that the bots haven't taken them to the array? Yeah, they don't, because the array only asked for regular solar panels. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's see. That's okay, though. We can use regular solar panels. I'll just put those... Uh, how many do we need, actually? We need one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to take these off and put them as... Okay, one, two, three, four. No. It should be fine. I'm going to poke some bites with a stick. Aha. Oh, yeah, let's, let's watch how... this. I want to see this. Yeah, okay, so you're going to have them. precious. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. fire. Kill it with fire. Oh, wow, it is deleting stuff very effectively. They are not even getting next to the dragon's teeth. They are really dying. Dang, that's impressive. That's good. Very good. Throw a grenade at him or something. Oh, there you go. Nice. Wow. Oh, you're a one man army. Look at this. An army of one. Yes. What a weird slogan.
Watch the grass. You're doing great, wow. Nice. Wow, those defenders are really... Yeah, they're kicking butt. They're pretty badass. There nice. we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. Wow, and you did this entire thing. Can you um, put uh, roboports along the wall and or radars? We can actually yeah, see what's well. happening. Okay. All right. Wow, that was awesome. Cool. Very cool. So let's see. I want to send... What else? We need lots more space platform stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to send it. Are you ready to to uh, to watch? Let me just get back to safety. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't tracking you. Oh, there you go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Kill it with fire. Let's -a go. Okay. Orbiter. Okay. Or I'm what am I? What am I yeah. looking at? Watch the orbiter. Okay. So I'm gonna launch yeah. this uh, rocket, and it will arrive very shortly. And you can watch the platform like create itself. It's kind of cool. So the base thing works as a robo port. Yeah, the base okay. thing is like a big logistics chest robo port thingy, and the platform builds itself. Okay, there it comes. There's the there's the stuff. Plop. It's not a cool animation. Wow. Yeah. Kind of that's awesome. Really cool. Yeah. So it looks like we need. Maybe, I don't know if we need more space platform or we didn't. Oh, right. We need a, um, the An level arm thing. No, no, no. We need a level two, uh, blueprint because it will only, oh, oh, did you see? Look at this. It's catching stuff. This is good. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Then we need the level two uncommon one for there. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. And the level two has two arms. That underground is, is not long enough. Which underground? The one I'm pointing at. This one? Oh, it's uh, it's the platform. That's the problem. It has to have an underground thingy to be thingy. Oh, you can't underground over vacuum? Nope. Oh, that's oh, sad. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Hey. I don't even know what happened there. That was weird. Okay. So now we got... Thingies. I think we've got everything we need except for... Okay, I need to place these in. There we go. Okay, it's working. Okay, so what's happening is the asteroid collectors are the things with the arms. And they are reaching out into space. If you hover over them, you can see their AoE. And they're collecting these three different kinds of asteroids. There is the metally ones, which are the blue kind of like purpley blue ones those are making iron as you can see that is going into the uh iron furnace and then there's the gray ones which make carbon which is like kind of like coal it it works like coal um and that is needed by this the space uh, uh, and then are you still watching or no? <laughs> no i was getting killed by biters well stop getting killed i'm explaining this whole thing to you and you're not even listening yeah, oh my god I just have to move move you were safe away. behind the wall. You were safe. I was. Yeah. For a while. I know. And now not. Now not. Now not so much. Uh, yeah. So, All anyway. Right. Back at the wall. Yeah. So, anyway. So, then there's the icy ones, which are these kind of like light blue shard ones. Yeah. And those are made into ice cubes, as you see. So, um, basically, this thing just collects the asteroids as they're floating by because it's in orbit. And, um, and then they'll, they'll be processed. Now they have, there's this complicated circuitry here. It's not that bad. It's basically just these, uh, arms are reading the belt and making sure that it's not overcrowded with stuff. They're looking for, oh, are there, is there less than 10 on a belt? Then, okay, we can put some on the belt. Over there's time. There's a chance to get the chunk back. Sorry? There's a chance. Hands yeah. to get the chunk back. Yeah, 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 definitely. So that's why you have to have All like right. this recycling system that I've got going on. So that's why we have the filtered inserters and those, the ones where you get the chunk back, uh, they go back on the, the, the turnaround, the merry-go-round belt. So, but yeah, okay. we're using that brand new circuit condition to hold and uh, read the whole belt contents for the entire belt. You see how it puts mm. that yellow outline? Yeah. 
So let's see, if we look at the center core, we can click on there's like a little electric bolt, a lightning bolt, and that's how we can see our power on the whole platform. It looks like we're well within, uh, yeah, we're using a third of the power, so that's fine. You check that how? Uh, click on the, the core, the center core, and click on the lightning bolt upper right. Okay, up there, okay. Yeah, it's not very intuitive. It's kind of no. Wild. That was kind of hard to find. So I'm the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send some uh, uranium up there. I think I have no, I don't have any. I'm going to request some though. Should be able to get it from the train station, and I'll just send up like five pieces or something. Let's see. Uh, is it? I'm gonna see if it's asking for anything else. I don't think we need anything else on the space platform other than the uranium. And the uranium will make us science. Like, crazy amounts of science. If you look at the, um, the, the thingies, look at how yeah. much science we get for this. 235 and then you get 50 for each craft. Yes. Far and better than... Hmm? And there's a 90% chance you get the uranium back? Exactly. Yes. It's very exciting. So that's that's oh, why you wow. want to send up a minimum amount of rockets to get the other stuff. Because you only get 10 science per rocket launch, which is not a lot. Very not a lot. So let's see. What kind of modules are we needing? We're needing just regular level 1 uh, productivity. So... But on, on these grabber things, mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, oh no, sorry. Yeah. I was going to ask why you had to have filtered inserted since you're outputting everything, but you're not outputting everything. No, I'm not. And I'm, I'm counting how much is on the belt because the belt can easily get clogged. That's, that's the main problem is the belt. Mm. Uh, a lot of times you're going to use less of one material than another, or there's going to be more asteroids of one type than another. So yeah, that's why you use the filtered inserters. And there's two, two filters actually. There's the ones that empty onto the belt and the ones that empty into space. Uh, because if you fill up the asteroid collector itself, like if you look yeah. at the one at the upper left, you see how many iron asteroids are in there? A ton. So yeah. any more than 13, and it's going to dump it off the side again. So you space can't... Space littering. Yeah, well, that's, that's what happens, man. You can't take everything from space. Okay, so let's see. I need... Ah, we can... S okay, I'm, I'm ready to shoot up these uranium-238 in here. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 no! No! Oh, no! It auto-launched! What the heck? I wasn't ready! I was gonna... Oh, you stupid thing. So I was gonna no uranium. No, I sent the uranium. What happened right. is I had, I had the modules in there as well. And uh, it, it took the modules out and sent only the uranium. That's, that's not, maddening. It's... It's not outputting the, the uranium. It hasn't though. arrived yet. Hold on. It'll drop in. You'll you'll see it drop. Uh, just I second. saw the ship arrive. Did it? Uh, and it has eight uranium oh, in it. Oh, 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 hold on. It's because this uh, inserter is wrong. I, w I didn't change it over from blue. There we go. So we have uranium now. And these guys are going to go Ooh. to work doing their thing. And now we're crafting science. Yes, we are. And a ton of it. This is so exciting. Oh, that's a long craft, though. Yeah, but it's 50. 50 with each craft. Yeah. Actually, I need to make these. These probably should be blue inserters to come out. Ah. All right, I'll send up some blue inserters. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it has 50 seconds to... to... No, the craft time is... Mm. Oh, see how much uranium's coming out of this? That's nice. Wait, why is it outputting? I think I fucked it up. D oh, what did you do? I actually accidentally swapped recipes, but I want to see the craft time. Oh, no, the craft time just mouse over the uh, thing. It shows you 30 seconds crafting time. Mouse over the re recipe. Let's see. Right, yeah, because I gotta, I gotta dump there those, those, those pieces now. 
uh, that you... Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. No worries. It's fine. I just... I'm, basically, it sends them back down to novice if we put them in the trash slots. So... So, but this is cool. So we're now getting science. We're getting things and stuff. Ah, oh, look at all the science happening. This is great. Ah, uh, and so. uranium comes back. Cool. Yep. Let's see. I am, I'll replace those inserters, maybe. We have tons of power anyway, so it's okay. There we go. Yeah, so uh, we don't actually need a whole lot of uranium from Novice. Eventually, it will run out, but um, we I can keep sending, basically. You need to upgrade the insert that goes into the uh, hub as well. Oh yes, of course. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, you oh. can. Uh, yeah, this. So this is how a science platform works. Now, a flying through space one is a little bit different because it uh, has engines and you have to make fuel and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's a little bit different. But this is I, this is awesome. Oh, this is, it feels so satisfying to see this happening because you know what that science means? That means requester chests. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely requester chest land. We're going to do that first. Of course, we probably don't have enough blue. God darn it. Arr. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. No, we have plenty of blue science. Awesome. Yay. So there we go. We have plenty of space science and blue science. It's awesome. It's great. So after this, we're going to research. I think we're going to get modules. Let's see. Yeah, these modules. Coverex. Let's see how much is Coverex? 20. It's 20 science. All of these sciences are like, I think, I don't know if they expect you to do these first or, or not. Uh, but these are like 20 science packs for all of the different modules. The Coverex. Coverex used to be a thousand regular science, and now it's 20 space science. That's it. It's very cheap. Very, very cheap. That's way better. So, let's see. Um, I don't think we have any... Let's see. We're just going to call this uh, science uh, request. Uh, novice science request. Okay, novice science mats. Um... Okay, so unfulfilled requests is 100 things. So this thing, um, you'll notice there's a schedule-y thing on the right-hand side. It's like a train schedule. That is for moving platforms. So this one doesn't need any schedule. But when we get a moving one, uh, a ship, so to speak, uh, we'll need to set like a schedule for it to go from planet to planet. Mm. I found this kind of odd, uh, and I remarked on this uh, in my notes to the devs, that like... Train stuff is always on the left, so it like really weirded me out. Like, what is this thing on the right? What does this even mean? You know. So uh, anyway, but so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set uh, the launch the rocket to do re request for the space platform. Uh, I'm gonna tick the box, and it's gonna auto launch whenever it gets enough uranium, which it definitely doesn't have right now. We are still struggling for that. Uh, let's see. Train. Yeah, I need I need to make more um, centrifuges. We're just not processing enough material. But soon we'll have Coverex uh, as well, so that's going to be fantastic. Let's see, is there any left at the train station? No, there isn't. Yeah, I def de just need more centrifuges, I think. But yay, this is great. Are you excited? Very. <laughs> new content yeah Same. it's fantastic it's 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 good stuff it took quite a while for us to figure this out uh during the event it's pretty esoteric i would say in general so uh wait what happened to my oh i probably got it in my inventory let's see i don't want this um what else do I have here? God, I have so many different quality random stuffs in my inventory. It's crazy. Where, uh, what am I looking at? I am looking for the, oh my gosh, I have 33 centrifuges. Wow, that's great. Okay, so I know what I'm doing next episode, but uh, right now it's actually time for us to depart. So, um, yeah. There we go. Okay, are you uh, ready? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, cool. So uh, we're going to say thank you for viewing our wonderful space platform so far. Uh, and we hope you join us for the next episode. Thank you so very much for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye.